from the sprawling Kati military camp in Bamako, based to the March 21 coup leaders, Sheikh Modibo Diara made a somber announcement. Men and women who are worried about the future of our nation, you are hoping for peace. It's for this reason that I, Sheikh Modibo Diara, am resigning along with my entire government today. Diara was getting ready to leave the country for France when he was arrested. It's unclear if the trip was planned or not. His resignation will jolt Mali's unstable political scene. The crisis in Mali started last March when soldiers led by this man, Amado Senogo, staged a coup in protest against what they called the government's failure to stop a rebellion in the north. The coup leader then promised to crush the rebels. But in a few weeks, the entire region of northern Mali, almost a third of the country, came under the control of the separatist Tuareg rebels. Diara's government was formed in August to satisfy regional demands for a transition from military rule. And tension has been mounting between the coup leader Senogo and Diara in recent weeks. The former prime minister helped organize a demonstration last weekend calling for a United Nations-backed military intervention to take back Mali's north from the rebels. Nigeria has already pledged to contribute almost a third of the 3,300 troops the regional grouping ECOWAS wants to deploy. The idea is to deploy force side by side with dialogue because it's, it's a matter of fact the ECOWAS heads of government uh, put it in that order. Dialogue, if dialogue fails, we deploy force to keep them, to kick, to kick them out of that place. Diara's resignation comes during a week of hate and diplomatic efforts to resolve the crisis in Mali. On Monday, France circulated a UN Security Council resolution that would authorize the deployment of the ECOWAS-led force. It's now calling for a rapid military intervention in Mali. The European Union approved a plan to deploy a military training mission in Mali it also urged the military to stop its interference in the political process. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera.